This is Pratima again with you with the topic black body radiation. This is a continuation of the previous lecture. In the previous lecture we have seen where the classical mechanics failed in explaining completely a few experiments like black body radiation, photoelectric effect and Compton effect and how quantum mechanics was able to answer in a very outside line. In this video lecture we will take black body radiation and see what exactly it is in details. So why to study the black body? Black body has importance in thermal radiation theory and in practice as well. The ideal black body notion is studying the thermal radiation and electromagnetic radiation transfer in the all the bandwidth wavelength bandwidth range and the black body is used as a standard with which the absorption of the real bodies is compared with. Before going into the further details, let us have a brief look into the following terms. What exactly is an electromagnetic radiation? It is nothing but a radiation which when travels through space, it has both electric energy and magnetic energy as well. And the relationship between wavelength lambda and the frequency nu or related by nu into the lambda will be equal to the velocity of the light which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second when it travels through free, free space. And the frequency or the wavelength determines the type of the radiation and when you are studying the radiation as a wave we can describe the energy by its wavelength. So the black body radiation before knowing about it let us know what a black body is. It's an object when a light is incident on it it can absorb 100% of the radiation and let not any reflection happen and this is valid for radiation corresponding to all the wavelengths at all angles of incidence. Suppose if you want to understand this in a picturistic way, you can take a hollow cavity with a hole which allows the radiation to enter through it. And this hole is acting as a complete absorber and if you want to know whether the radiation really comes out or not, it depends on the temperature of the body. And thus the black body is an ideal absorber of incident radiation. So let us know now what is the relationship between temperature, wavelength and the energy emitted from a thermal radiator like an ideal black body related with one another. The bodies when heated at different temperatures they emit radiation at different wavelengths that is different colors. That's what you observe when a filament is heated. First it, uh, it glows red in color then moves towards orange color then appears white and glows into blue. So this is where you can really observe visibly and the black body radiation when really looked into it is a theoretical temperature related thermal self radiation. The hotter the emitter the more energy is emitted and the wavelength falls towards a shorter range and the light spectrum of black bodies is often characterized in terms of its temperature. For example let us take the perfect example of a black body the radiation which is emitted out from a sun. The figure shows you the spectral radiance with respect to a wide range of wavelengths. You can see that the maximum, wave, the maximum range falls in a wavelength of visible range. And that's the reason why you are able to observe the sunlight with your eyes. Not only that, we are also receiving the wavelengths which are UV and infrared as well. And this is what you see, the visible range of wavelengths falling at the maxima. You also observe them in hot metals. So that's a hot glowing metal body and this is where like uh, the study started on studying the bodies at various temperatures and this is a graph. If you take a body and heat it to different temperatures, you can see that for a dip, as the temperature increases, the maximum wavelength shifts towards left. And when you take the individual curve, right from the lower wavelengths, you can see that there is a rise in the intensity and as you move ahead the, the rise in intensity reached a maximum and then which you call here as lambda max and beyond lambda max you can see that the curve reduces steeply and as you see here when lambda in tends to infinity the intensity of the radiation tends to zero so this is what we also observe in the hot bodies 
now you are able to see it with your eyes the glowing radiation because above 4000 4, kelvin you are able to see that uh, from the graph that the lambda max falls in the visible region and that's the reason why you are able to see the glowing of the hot bodies and this is where the scientists started studying the radiation which is emitted out from the hotter bodies and we can also see various observations from this graph as the temperature rises the lambda max shifts to, towards the left and uh, the, the all the observations whatever you are observing from here you ca you have to write it down which is given in the next slide so you can note it, note down all these points which are the observations of the graph moving ahead then what is the problem with the black body radiation yes classical electromagnetism couldn't account for it because many mathematician mathematical physicists were trying to fit the values of which were uh, observed in the experiments but they failed why because they were trying to uh, observe from their results only the values which are in the higher wavelengths for example the Rayleigh genes law was able to give this particular curve which falls in the higher range of the wavelengths but they were not able to expect that what will happen here in the lower wavelengths they were thinking that it will just rise to the the energy radiation will just rise to infinity but they were not able to expect that as the temperature rises the wavelength would fall down to the lower wavelengths so thus there was a contradiction between the theoretical results and the experimental observation so this contradiction is known as ultraviolet catastrophe and physicists were not able to solve this and then came Max Planck here he introduced the concept of quantum of theory and uh, for this he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1981 for the discovery of the quantized nature of energy he proposed that the radiation comes out from atomic oscillations which are there in the cavity walls the, the radiation emitted in uh, from the uh, oscillators he said that they are emitted out in discrete packets of energy and named them as quanta and there are several points from his hypothesis which we have to remember the black body he proposed as a large number of oscillating particles and he considered that the black body is an oscillator and he mentioned that each vibrating particle has its own characteristic frequency and the frequency of the radiation emitted out by the oscillator is same as the frequency of its own that is the oscillator frequency and the oscillator can absorb the energy in the multiples of a small unit called quanta and he named the quantum of the radiation as a photon and he also mentioned a very important point that the energy of the photon is directly proportional to the frequency of the radiation which is emitted out which is mentioned here that the energy which is either emitted or absorbed can be expressed as a whole number multiple of the quantum number that is 1 h nu, 2 h nu, 3 h nu and so on up to n h nu where n is known as the principal quantum number here and this is known as the quantization of energy so can you are you able to understand that the energy is quantized to such a small scale when you is yes, you can understand when h when you know the value of h h is 6.623 divided into 10 to the power of 34 parts such a small scale and such a beautiful result which was a amazing jaw drop idea for the physicist then and he could also give an expression for the energy density of the black body radiation which is displayed here in terms of the Planck's constant, speed of light, Boltzmann constant and the absolute temperature and thus he was able to give an accurate prediction of the black body radiation to the true values of the quantization which is happening and this is of course a reality which is fundamental in nature energy appears to be continuous in macroscopic but in the microscopic scale it is quantized thus Max Planck was able to solve the biggest problems in the 19th century by the theory of quantization and the the research didn't stop by him but it led to uh, many more results which which were giving amazing uh, theories and experiments uh, which we'll be seeing in the next few classes of video lectures now that you came to know what is black body and what is black body radiation and how it is explained by Planck it is now your responsibility to look into how will this be useful for you in your uh, career in any engineering stream or any other science stream you will have the necessity 
uh, to or you can gather the opportunity to study the materials which absorb or emit radiations like for example as you see on the screen silicon carbide platinum and earth water bodies and land bodies are also used uh, and many others are being used as this sort of research and a few references i have given for you the rest if you are really interested you can dig into the literature and collect many more all the best and thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates